Step number three. <laughs> Two balls. First, we're going to do simple throw in each hand, like this. Again, this is a good possibility just to, within this simple exercise, focus on your breathing and on your, on your body. See where, it's, where your tension, try to let it go. And <clears throat> again, I don't do this different then I don't have to do it do it. I just see the balls reaching the highest point and because the throw is kind of catch. It's uh, when I when I'm sure about the, the way the ball will be thrown I can catch it without without looking at it. It's the okay. Um, <clears throat> we can get a little bit faster. And even faster that we come to this pattern. Pattern are, are it's a description for the jumping, jumping manipulations. Um, so Yes, maybe it's a bit confusing, but yeah, when the ball reaches the top, at the same, at this time I'm throwing this, the, uh, the other ball, so it's always just it's a deeper, it's a deeper, shauka. Um, yeah, if you feel comfortable, you can throw it always a bit higher and see if you have the control. If it's too much, you just slow down, but stay at the same height. Uh, next would be to the same thing but synchro. So I throw the synchro means I throw the ball at the same time, the same way, but together. Okay. <clears throat> Here you can focus really on the position of your arms. Like often people people do this, they go with the ball, so uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, the balls are falling down anyway. So try to think of this. This mechanic is just uh, like a little trampoline. It's going down and up. Good. Within this, a simple exercise the two balls where we just throw them straight back and forth. You can now put there the body throws we were, we were working with. So for example, if we take the asynchron pattern, I can do it like this, or like this. You can find some little combination. Yeah, or like this. And a nice example combining the back cross and the reverse back. So first the asynchro, asynchro would be back cross and and this one. Back cross, reverse back cross. Back cross, reverse. So before we were doing the back cross changing hands, left to the right, but now I just do it to the same hand. So I do the back cross with left and I catch with left. The same reverse. Reverse with one ball would be this one. So I throw it from here and catch it behind my back. And with the uh, same hand, this one. So I do the back cross, reverse, back cross, back cross. And you can try to do that uh, simul uh, simultaneously, so synchronous. It's a bit tricky, but just to get the idea.
step number three.